Hello YouTube, this is Redstone Tutorials Part 1. Um, I will think I'm going to make this a series. Um, basically, I'm just going to teach you basics about Redstone, and then over time it will get more advanced. And, um, well, right now you're inside my TARDIS with me. You know, not going to worry about that now. This is my Redstone room. Um, so for today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the basics. Um, well, there's power components which provide power, redstone torches, buttons, levers, redstone blocks, etc. And then there's transmission components, um, which passes power from one part of the circuit to another. Pistons, redstone lamps, dispensers, etc. Um, then there's also mechanism components, which affect the environment by moving, um, producing light, and other stuff. Redstone dust, repeater, and comparator. Um, Redstone components can be powered or unpowered. Um, powered means electrified. Some power blocks um, show their powered state visibly. For example, redstones, redstone lamps light up and pistons extend, as you see there. Um, opaque blocks are, um, you know, just stone, sandstone, dirt, or grass powered. Um, you know, they do different things. Um, but I'm just going to skip that for a while, and then I'm going to show you how to do this, because, you know, a lot of people that um, make TARDISes and stuff like that moving motion right there, um, you know, just for the signal thing. I'm still working on how to get it to turn on when you want, because this is pretty much like a fluid motion. Once you get it started, it's hard to stop it and then get it going again. So I will come back to you when I figure out how to just turn it on and off. But, um, so basically, I'm just going to make another one over here. Um, might not be enough room. But, um, you just need redstone dust, a sticky piston, and redstone repeater. And the... I just put the redstone torch there. Wait, no, you also need the redstone torch. Alright, so what you do is you kind of make it like a circle. But, so you go that way. Like, imagine they're pushing into each other. Like, like arrows that lead in a loop. And, um, it's really good to, uh, slow them down. So, you have them all three ticks. You'll learn about ticks later. Um, then you put redstone in between each of them. Oh, oops, it's connected. Well, no, stop that. Bad. Just break that connection there. And then there we go. And then it should work. I'm not. I think I might have. Wait. Oh yeah, that's right. One more. There you go. And then um, you have to place the torch and then break it. Uh oh. You have to place the torch and then break it before it makes it back to the torch so it doesn't become a constant, um, constant connection. And then, um, so that's how you get the loop going. It's an infinite loop of powered redstone. Uh, really, really useful when you need redstone. And, uh, then you just lead it out to the piston. There. And there you go. Um, so that's pretty much all I told you in the title or whatever I would tell you about. But, um, also, so th this can be useful for many, many things. Um, you could also speed it up by, uh-oh, well, now the piston moved faster. Let's sip it out. There we go. And that one. Oh, well. You, that's that's also if you, if you make them all go too fast, there's a chance it'll catch up with itself. It's like it's like a dog chasing its tail around in circles. Um, if it catches it, it'll just hold on, stay there. Um, but anyways, I just figured I'd use the end of this video to um, show you this uh, new TARDIS. You know, pretty cool. And um, this is my new redstone room. I will do 
I will be doing all of my redstone tutorials in this. I will have to make it bigger when we get more complex and stuff, doing uh, three by three doors and, you know, sliding doors, puzzles, stuff like that. I will make it bigger and, um, you know, basically this is where all my redstone is for this. Um, oh yeah, there's, I'm making an adventure map. Uh, the TARDIS gets stuck in, um, in itself, and you have to rewire it. It's, uh, I, I've, I've been working pretty hard on it, but anyways, so, um, I'll see you during my next tutorial.